What a beautiful ceremony. I, I hope you got a chance to hear all of it. That was just awesome.
Getting a flyover here of Vieira Regional Park. Patriots Day ceremony. Truly just There's Sheriff Wayne Ivey. Sheriff joining us here for a special Patriots, part of the Patriots Day ceremony. We had the, the flyover. And the flyover chopper is landing over on the soccer field. It's a great day so far put on by Suntry Vieira, and we've had some great games to go with it. Sheriff Ivy is honorary guest. Turn the coin toss. Had three games so far, two of them coming down to the wire. Uh, in the 6U game, it was a combination of many, many athletes putting scores on the board for Century Vieira. Mr. Haas scored all three for DeLand was uh, Baylor Haas in the 10U game, not 10U, try 8U game. DeLand went into halftime down 8 to z eight to 0. They come all the way back, and on the final play of the game, take the 12 to, 12 to 8 lead in order to finish off and pick up the victory. Both touchdowns scored by older brother, uh, Brennan Haas, or Brennan Haas, and in the 10U game, Suntry Vieira Hawks, uh, the offense exploded. Defense caused multiple turnovers. They just executed on both phases of the game. And now we're at 11U, and that brings us to one of our many great sponsors today. Best Private Investigations. So here we go, 11U action right here on the Brevard Sports Network. Great ceremony. Again, Patriots Day ceremony. But now it's time for some football. As DeLand will get the ball first, so we'll get to see their offense. Here comes DeLand, first and 10 quarterback. Takes a snap. He's going to give it off there to number 15. Number 15, fighting hard for yards. Mason Cox, the ball carrier. 
quarter, the quarterback is number 44, Colton Siege. Siege out of the pistol. He fakes the hand. Oh, he gives it off to number 80. Number 80 found some running room. Jer Gerardo Ramirez. False start. So now it's second down and 15. And there's number 16 out around the left side. Check that, that's number 18, Liam Bardwell. And that'll bring up third down. Third and 14. Best private investigations. Siege with the handoff to number 15, who will be tripped up by his own lineman who got blown off the ball. Mason Cox. And that'll bring up fourth and long. And there's a, a punt attempt and downed by a Bulldog and the Hawks will take over first and 10 at the 30 or 31 yard line. So good job by that Hawks defense uh, being true and tough. And here come the Hawks. We're back under center. He's going to give it to the first back through. First back through. Fighting his way forward. Gets a gain of about six or seven on the play. Number five. Callen. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. I, I don't want to screw it up that badly. 
Mr. Kalen just bowling his way through. That time there was number 16. Don't have a number 16. There's the pitch, and blocked by the tent. Unfortunately, he's ran out of bounds inside the five-yard line. And we have come to the first quarter water break with your score 0-0 with 4.29 left to go here in quarter number one. Again, folks, I do apologize. Uh, those tents, I was told, were, are there for safety purposes, and they cannot be moved. So Again, I, uh, I apologize, but uh, tried executing every resource I could to ask why they couldn't be moved, and the answer I got from the top was safety. Mr. Kalen in at quarterback. There's a toss out there to number 20. 20 to the corner. And that's a touchdown. Vieira Hawks, Braden Teeter. Braden Teeter with the five yard touchdown run. And the Hawks strike first, six to nothing. Pending the extra point. I do believe they have a kicker, if I remember correctly. Number 98. It's 98, it's Tyson Berry. Kick is up, and good. So with 4.09 left to go here in the first quarter, the Hawks take an eight to nothing lead right here in the 11U game right here on the Brevard Sports Network. All right, we're back, and uh, we're going to get another shot to see this uh, DeLand offense being quarterbacked by number 44, Colton Siege. Sends number four in motion. And he fakes the handoff, and I think that was a busted play. And that is a big loss of about six or seven yards on the play. Second and 16 for the Bulldogs. Toss, and there's Mason Cox. And he'll run into some more Hawks, and that'll be uh, fourth or third and 14.
Siege with the pass. He was looking for his intended receiver, Braden Smith. And it will be incomplete. It's now fourth and long for the Bulldogs. 2.05 left to go here in quarter number one. Trying to. That was my best impression of uh, Alan Slotizinski. Quada. If he heard it, he'd be disgusted with me right now. And they. It's a. So they handed it off to Gerardo Ramirez, who was looking to hit a receiver. Pass incomplete. Coach trying something to, to get his offense jump started. But it's turnover on downs, and we'll see this Hawk offense led by number five. Mr. Kalen. Roll out. He's going to roll out right. Fires. It'll be incomplete. He was looking for number 11 there. Luke Luke Costin. Second and ten here for the Hawks. And he gives it to the first back through. He's going to find his way outside, and great tackle. Great job by the DN there, shedding his block. That was number 12, Cody Rodriguez Bennett. Shed his block and still got a hand on the back in order to keep him from gaining bigger and better yardage. Maybe about third and five. And it's going to be Mr. Kalen taking it himself. He's going to follow his blockers. He's got plenty that escort him to the end zone. Touchdown, Sun Tree Vieira. Mr. Kalen. The quarterback in with the keeper, followed his blockers, did everything you're supposed to do. Stayed patient, let your blockers lead you to the promised land. Kick is up. And it is good. So 15 seconds left to go in quarter number one. And Suntree Vieira jumps out to a 16 to zero lead. Talk about a fast start. And if you're a Bulldogs fan, you're thinking the exact opposite. Just haven't been able to get anything going. Coach has already reached reached into the bag of tricks with the uh, the receiver end around pass.
I mean, look at the the size difference in team in, in the teams though. The land comes in with 19 players on the roster. Century Vera comes in with 30, 35 on the roster. <laughs> no, that doesn't. There's a butterfly just just let. L l butterfly just landed on a young man and. It's on your head. It, it's on the hat. That <laughs> that is funny. Uh, and that's the end of the first quarter. Uh, the the penalty. So we'll be back with uh, second quarter action right here on the Brevard Sports Network. There are the pilots that flew in on the flu flyover here. And just what an amazing job they did with that flyover. Thank those gentlemen for their service. And thank all military and first responders for their service that they give on, a day, on the daily so the rest of us can live normal lives. And that, that, that is... That's what a, a weekend like this weekend is about. It's it's Patriot Weekend. Giving a big thanks to all all the first responders, firefighters, e, you know, EMS, police officers, and those in the military who again uh, give us the opportunity to They give me an opportunity to sit here beautiful VR Regional Park and broadcast youth football. I always say it's one of the, the luckiest things I get to do. And here's making moves and there's a spur for the offense. If I can get a number on that young man. Okay, it's number 14. Oh, check that. William Bogswell. Great run and uh, getting to a second much, much more manageable. Hand off, and that time the Hawks defense tightened up there a bit. Mason Cox on the carry. And trying to get to the outside is number 80. Gerardo Ramirez. And it's fourth, 
fourth and six. And the sun has uh, come out for the first time today, and I already want it to go back behind those clouds. It's felt great all day. And Cox. What an open field tackle there by that young man. Number 12. Liam Mick. Liam Mick on that open field tackle. Turnover on downs. And here come the Hawks. And carry there by number 17, Julian Nazaro. Julian Nazario picks up a nice gain of five yards for the Hawks, and it's second and five. And there's a pass and caught. And it'll be pushed out of bounds just inside the two yard line. Braden Teeter was the quarterback on that pass. Zachary Gay on the reception pushed out of bounds inside the two. There's a bulldog down, and he's being taken to the sideline. We do not show injuries out of respect for the student athlete and family. Brevard Sports Network policy, we don't try to speculate on injuries. I did not drink a Dr. Pepper. Trust me, I'm not a doctor. But he's been taken off the field. And looks to be sitting over on the bench. And here we are, back to action. Pass thrown, and it's... Caught, touchdown, Hawks. Did not get a number on that young man. Malachi Teeter with the touchdown pass. And extra point is no good. So with 6-11 left to go here in quarter number two. Your score, Vieira 22, DeLand 0.
4.07 left to go here in the half. Three fifty and counting left to go. As Deland here is now third and seven. Some motion, and uh, Vieira was not fooled by that motion. That's the swarm of hawks. Said number seven. Wesley Trinkus was the first Hawk on the play, and they're going to call. It was a false start. No? Okay. Usually that arm signal means false start. And what a, what a punt. And uh, I can't see what's going on because of those tents again. That apparently can be there due to player safety. That's what I was told. I apologize, there's nothing I can do, but... Um, Wait for the referee to spot the ball and we'll... So they're going to, they still haven't set the ball down. So it'll be spotted inside the five again, folks. I apologize for the picture. Try to tell you what's going on. Quarterback under center. And they hand off to the up back, and the up back explodes out of the backfield. Number 17, Julian Nazario. And Nazario brings it out to where you all can now see what's happening on the field. And there he goes again. Making people miss down the sideline. And they'll say he was pulled out of bounds. I heard whistles blowing prior to that. But apparently not. He, he he got it down to the 45-yard line. That's number 22, Aliyah Lewis, on the on that carry. Great burst for Aliyah Lewis. Well, they line up in the eye. Gives it to the first back through. He's got running room. He's got speed. And he is gone. Number 17, Julian Nazario in for the touchdown. What? Wow. From the up back position, he got to the outside, kicked it into second gear and said, bye-bye, I have places to be. Julian Nazario. A 
And the score is now 28. And with the score being 28, it's a running clock. Kick is blocked. But folks, right now, the, uh, the story of the rest of the game, we got a running clock. So that most likely will be the final play of the half. All right, uh, folks, we will see you in about 10 minutes. If the cheerleaders come on and do their hello cheer, we will unplug and allow you to hear that. If they do, if they do not come on the field and do their hello cheer, then, well, you will stare at the lovely VR Regional Park. Beautiful fields we have. We'll be back with second half action right here on the Brevard Sports Network. All right, there's a halftime ceremony. Ladies and gentlemen, please direct your attention to the center of the field. Century Youth Football and Cheer would like to take a moment in honoring a U.S. Navy petty officer, radio man, first class, John Allen Frazier. Petty officer, radio man, first class, John Frazier was born in eastern Kentucky in 1925. Growing up in a, a he learned oil spill from his dad and went to work for the railroad, which is a telegraph operator since he was 17 years old. During World War II, he was drafted into the United States Navy in August of 1943. His experience with Morse code has sent him up to be a radio, a radio operator. During the war, he stationed in, in, in Canberra, Australia, he was responsible for receiving and transmitting messages between Honolulu and the Navy ships fighting across the South Pacific until the war ended in 1945. He is married 
his wife Jewel, when he was discharged from the Navy in 1946. And 76 years later, he lives near his son in Deland, Florida. He now spends his days playing golf and fishing and spending time with his 24 great grandkids. One of them being the number 10, Luke Moss, on the 12 year Hawks team. And we'll soon be the great great grandfather this November. Country, beer, youth football, and cheer would like to honor his U.S. Navy PD officer, Radio Man First Class Frazier, with a hero plaque thanking him for his service to the festival for his World War II. Thank you. Right now after that ceremony in the next five minutes we will be back with second half action right here on the Brevard Sports Network. All right, so we're going to get a demonstration from the Titusville Police Department. some basic fight work that we use for our certifications every year. So what Officer Glenn's going to do is give Chase several commands, and then Chase is going to act on the commands that are given. Whenever you're ready. Chase will hang on until he's given a command by Officer Glenn to let go. All our canines are caught the bite and hold. They won't let go until they're told so by the handler. Also, the canines don't bite for any reason. They only bite for three occasions if they're told that they have to protect the handler or protect themselves. Chase will hang on until Officer Glenn gives him the command to let go. Scooby. 
Alright, the next K9 is coming out is K9 Scooby with Officer Weaver. Both Scooby and Chase are brothers. They came from the same litter. They're approximately seven years old. They've been with the agency since they were 10 months old. When we get each canine, they have to go through a 640-hour class. So each canine and their handler has to go basically through about four or five months of training before they are able to go on the road. Halftime here at Century Vieira 11U game is. Uh, all of our dogs are Belgium Malinois. Say that. We have four canine dogs currently at the Tatus of Police Park. waiting for a second part of the demonstration again extended halftime here
stay with you right here. I'd like to take this opportunity to talk about some more of our great sponsors. Kendall Signs. Kendall Signs has provided a vast array of quality, quality signage, branding, identity products to a wide range of clientele from okay, our uh, last dog is cane on Astro. He is two and a half years old. He's also going to demonstrate obedience and apprehension. He's ready. Again, Astro will let go as soon as you give a good command. Let's put our hands together for Titus Rowe Police Department K-9 Unit. Thank you and thank you for your service. All right, we'll, we'll be back with second half action. Okay, Titus, we're going to have you come All right, everybody, back to action. And after all that, please subscribe to our YouTube page. All games will be uploaded tonight. to our YouTube page so you all will be able to 
view them. Take whatever clips you want. If you want to make highlights from anything, any of the footage, you're more than welcome to. We're not the NFL. We're not going to come sue you because you used our film in a highlight tape. Quarterback hands off to that up back end. He pounds forward for a hard gain of five or six yards on the play. Number 16 on the carry. Second and four. Runs into his lineman, but he breaks free. There's number 16. Check that, number 18, Brennan Baker. Third quarter action again. We're on. We're under a running clock because uh, it's twenty-eight nothing. So this this will be a true ten minutes. The only thing that stops the clock is uh, timeouts and uh, knocking on some wood here. Player injuries. Hand off again and. Making, he's got running room. Swim move, open field. And he is in, touchdown, Suntree Vieira. Braden Teeter. But it will all be for naught. as holding call negates the touchdown. And so here we go. We're going to try this again. It's now first and. About 25 yards. First and 25 now. Fumbled snap. And who jumped on it but Suntree Vieira Hawks, recovered by number 12. Liam Mick covers that, but that'll be another loss. And so now it's about second. Second in a trip to Disney World. As that DeLand defense stiffens up up the middle. And we're at coming up on five minutes left to go here in quarter number three. Running clock. Let's go, 
under center. Gives to the second man through, and he's going to break some tackles, and he's got some room to run. Pushed out of bounds. Number 22. Elijah Lewis with a huge run. And we're going to take the water break here. So the water break stops with 4.14 left here in quarter number three. Coming up after this game, I'm going to shut, we'll, we'll shut down and get the phone and device set up all for 12 U action right here on the Brevard Sports Network. Well, we got the 12 and 14 U. Seen a lot of great things today. Seen some great games. The pregame ceremony to this was awesome with the flyover and and then halftime ceremony. We had a heroes award given out. Titusville Police Department came and did a demonstration with their K9 units. What can't you get out here at Vieira Regional Park? Got Gino's Italian Ice. I see many, many fans uh, wolfing some of that Italian Ice down. And there's the up back. That was Brody Pulliam. Center gives it to the first back through, and he keeps fighting Brennan Baker. Not easy to bring down. Check that was Trace Thomas. Taking that hand off. Kalen giving it there too. Aliyah Lewis, as we approach a minute and a half left to go here in the third quarter. Lewis, the deep back. Kalen under center. Give off and Lewis, Lewis breaking free. There is a flag on the play. Lewis will reach the end zone for the touchdown. Unfortunately blocked by this tent. But there was a flag on the play. will 
be against the Hawks, which will negate the touchdown. So here we go. Try it again. Lewis in the end zone. Why, why are we playing music? Okay. And a timeout called. Check that. No, it's the end of the quarter. We've ended quarter number three. We are heading on to quarter number four. Your score, Century 28, DeLand, with work to do. So we'll switch over here. While we have a second, we'd like to give another shout-out to another one of our great sponsors. As head coach Josh Jones heads for a win today. For example, like Connect Sports Funding and Consulting. Does your team or, or organization need funding? Let Connect Sports Funding do the, all the work. Check them out online at www.connectsportsconsulting.com. And how about some Slow and Low Barbecue? Slow and Low Barbecue, the home of Friday night post-game show. Great atmosphere last night. Got a chance to, we got Blake Boda on the post-game show. Edgecomb. We got Farmer. Allen, Jackson Robb, Logan Pettit did a great job breaking down everything from last night's action. And there's the up back, number 16. Go check that uh, number 18, Braden Beaker. We are in the fourth quarter. For those just tuning in, it's a running clock. So in 10, 15 minutes, this one will be over. And I will log off and get the device set and ready for 12 U action. Second and long for Century Vieira. Mr. Kalen. Third and long for the Hawks. Yeah, I mean, uh, when we talk about high school football, I mean, there was a lot of blowouts. I, I was on the call at the Heritage Oviedo game. Heritage was in control that majority of that first half, and then the second half the was a complete opposite. Oviedo took advantage of great field position, and Oviedo came out on top 32-22. And off up the middle, be taken down. It's now fourth, fourth and nine. Back to the original point of uh, Slow and Low Barbecue, another one of our great partners, home of the post-game show. Delicious meats. 
Smoked pork. Am I making you hungry yet? Ribs. Brennan Baker continuing to fight hard for good yardage. He'll be stopped short of the first down, but... But a penalty will be against DeLand. Coming up on six minutes left in the game. Again, immediately following this game, I'm going to log off, get the device set for 12-view action right here on the Brevard Sports Network. This win will bring Vieira 2-1 and one on the day. Check that 3-1. and one. They won the 6U game, lost the 8U game. They took the 10U game, and now they'll take this one. So 3-1 and one on the day. And it'll now be first and goal. First and goal for the Hawks. With an opportunity to put another one on the scoreboard before this game ends. And the timeout called. Again, it gives me another opportunity to tell you about another one of our great sponsors. How about Uberzadi? Uberzadi is a set of scientifically developed protocols that have been refined and perfected over the last 20 plus years to rapidly develop athletes beyond their normal capacities to build sustainable speed, power, agility, and endurance with optimal running form and efficiency that translates to peak performance and injury prevention in whatever sport the athlete plays. Uberzadi is for serious athletes ranging from middle school all the way to the pros. Uberzadi is not for young children looking to have fun or more mature individuals looking to lose weight, get in shape, or do CrossFit. If you are one of these athletes, give them a call at 321-412-5972 or visit them online at www.uberzadi.com. Snap. And back will slide outside into the end zone. Touchdown, Suntry Vieira. And again, touchdown, Sun Tree Vieira. Aliyah Lewis gets in the end zone. And the score is now 34. And they're going to go, are they going to go for the two point kick? Yes, they are. They're going to go for that two point kick. It's had two blocked. That, that snap is off. And he will be tackled. I love the fight of this DeLand. De DeLand defense has not given up. This DeLand defense has kept fighting and fighting and fighting from, from the first whistle. And you know they'll keep fighting until the last one. That To me, that just shows what kind of team you have, what kind of organization you have. You, none of these teams have given up. And, 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 and this... Deland, Deland 11U, they got heart. They got pride. They they don't want to quit. They are just. And look, the offense didn't quit either. It's just this 11U Vieira offense is quick. They are just, they see, they're, the best way to describe them is see ball, get ball. They see where that ball's going. All 11 are racing to that football because they want their hands on it.
as some substitutions are happening. Quarterback's getting getting him into formation. And now they have one too many players, does DeLand. And that VR defense is holding them stiff. It's now fourth down. Minute left in this game. Again, we'd like to thank all of our sponsors. Uber Zotti, Kendall Signs, Kel Clean, Best Private Investigations, Slow and Low Barbecue. Thank you for Connect Sports Funding and Consulting. We'd like to show our appreciation to all of our sponsors because they're not just supporting us, but they're helping support youth and high school athletics. As this should be the final play of the, ger of the game here. And the Vieira Hawks. Suntree Vieira Hawks will pick up the victory here. 34 to 0. All right, folks, we're going to log off, and I'm going to get set for 12U action right here on the Brevard Sports Network. So, again, your final score, Suntree Vieira, 34, DeLand, 0. We'll be right back with 12U action. <laughs> 